Hey Scorpio, uh, this is Muerto Chris and welcome to my channel, The Guard Owl. I'm going to do a general read for you for the last week of April 2020. This is going to be for the dates between the 26th and the 30th. Um, I went ahead and laid out the cards, so we're ready to go ahead and jump right into it. Like, share, and subscribe when you're done with the video, please. Um, if you want to bless me with a donation after the video, by all means, I appreciate it. And uh, the link for that will be in the description box as well. Scorpio. Man, you are doing really, really good. I got right here for you the Ten of uh, sorry, the Ten of Pentacles uh, crowning your whole entire read. Going to your family line, we have the Two of Cups. Um, and that is uh, crowning the Three of Wands in reverse. So I see here for you, Scorpio, that... Um, those of you that are in romantic relationships right now, um, you're doing really, really good. And you're also really, really blessed. Um, this particular type of relationships that you're involved in, um, it makes you feel pretty royal. And the reason why I'm telling you that is because if you look at this card right here and the color that, that they're wearing, that's purple right there. Purple is the color of royalty. Um, and also, you see how romantically involved they are. They're celebrating. They're having their, their drinks. And they're also very private. There's nobody else around. Um, you know, with this quarantine that's going on, Scorpios, you are really doing your thing, uh, keeping that love alive. And that's also beneficial for you guys with this pharmacia symbol that's going on over here. Uh, it's, really, um, it's really benefiting you guys. If you guys are drinking wine as uh, uh, along with your, you know, uh, along with your romantic connection with whoever you're involved with. That could be another reason why it's been so healthy for you. So, you know, the feeling of love and sharing your love with somebody else and then, you know, drinking wine, you know, it's it's so passionate. Um, and then with the color purple surrounding you guys, it's that's royalty right there. You guys feel so royal. It's crowning the three of wands, but the three of wands is, is, um, is in reverse. So it shows me here with the three of wands in reverse, you're not really looking out for anything. You, you found what you're looking for uh, and you're holding on very, very tight to it. And your social line going with the 10 of wands, it's uh, crowning the princess of wands. Um, typically with the 10 of wands, it usually depicts um, somebody kind of just like carrying all their baggage and just walking away with it with their, with their head hung down. Um, but what I'm getting right here with this Princess of Wands and this Ten of Wands combined with what's going on over here, uh, starting with your love line, I'm sorry, with your uh, family line, um, I see this more that this has been a time of rest for you. You know, taking all of the baggage, which would be the wands and everything, and walking off into this tower that's way out over here, um, you know, kind of like a little storage area, and just putting everything away uh, and just holding on to the one thing that you really like the most. Um, and that is a person that you are deeply and madly in love with. Um, mind you, look at this person. They're, they're, they're wearing purple, color of royalty. Um, so everything's good. You know, typically when a tower comes up in the cards, especially the tower itself, you know, everybody gets afraid of the tower because it's kind of like the death card, only like 100 times more destructive. <laughs> but it, there's always a good outcome because of that. You know, out of chaos comes, you know, some something positive. Um in this case, there's no chaos that 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 ensues. I mean, everything is going pretty well for you. Um, going into uh, the work line, we have the alchemist and then the two of swords in reverse. With this, I'm getting, and this ten of pentacles right above it, I'm getting that uh, for those of you Scorpios that are uh, working out of home, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people are working out of home right now, considering the conditions that we're all going through and living in. Um, and some of those Scorpios out there that have had to go through with making the decision to start working from home and start your creative, uh, you know, ventures in business and working from home with this two of swords and the alchemist, you did the right thing. Whatever it is that you're doing, you definitely did the right thing. You did your homework. Um, and everything is just working out for you. So far, I'm already halfway through this, this journal read for you, but it's almost like you don't even need me to do this for you. I mean, there's really nothing to know. This is just confirmation, if, if anything, that 
everything is all right. You know, Scorpio, so far, I want to be honest with you and say that this is probably the most, you know, beautiful read out of all the other signs that I've done so far. This is the most positive and this is the most beautiful one. Um, coming over here into your love line, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse and we have the Chariot. Okay. Don't get me wrong, for those of you that know anything about the tarot cards and the meanings of, of, of the tarot cards, sometimes I don't always go through with what, what they actually mean, um, and I go more so with intuition. What this is telling me with my intuition, with this chariot, you know, you never went fast with whoever this is that you're involved in, Scorpio. Um, and with this Queen of Wands right here, you didn't have to use your gut feelings about anything as the Queen of Wands. Um, you... It's just the way you are. It's Scorpio energy. Uh, you know, you're just like, I don't know. To me, Scorpios have always been, you know, and for any other signs out there that are cross-watching, don't get me wrong when I say this, but to me, Scorpios are some of like the smartest uh, people in the Zodiac. Uh, they really don't have to do a whole lot of decision-making. They, It's like they're just born with it automatically. Um, but with this chariot over here too, you know, usually with the chariot, you have, you know, like, it's typically a white horse and a black horse. Uh, in this one, it is a white horse and a black horse. Uh, a little kind of hard to see in this. There's a whole lot of art going on. But it comes out in the reverse. So just keep on taking your time with the way you're doing things right now. Everything's going good. Really, really, really good. Really smooth. The passion is there. It's very romantic what's going on over here. Um, and coming out over here into your health line, we have the high priestess in reverse. And we also have the lovers. And look at that archangel right there above the lovers. Purple. Lots of royalty. Lots of royal vibes going on here. Um, lots of healthy sex is going on too. Um, I'm getting in this that there's like a couple of you. Uh, I don't know who it is. There's a Scorpio out there. A male figure. I don't think it's a Scorpio, but it's, it's your significant other. Uh, somebody who has tattoos of wings on their chest. Uh, you went specific. Your love life is like, wow. I don't know why that's popping out at me, but that's what's coming up. Um, keep up whatever you're doing. Keep up the beautiful sexual, you know. I mean, it, it's like it's like your workout. You know, you don't have to be exercising. This is the exercise right here. Um, you guys just keep on doing whatever you're doing. This is probably the most positive and blessed read I've had with all the signs. Scorpio, keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, I'm sorry if you feel that this read was so short, but I mean, typically, whenever there's a lot of negativity going on in any kind of general reads, it usually takes longer. But when there's positive stuff, I mean, there's really nothing a whole lot to talk about because everything's going good. So whatever it is that you're doing, keep going. Whoever your significant other is that's making you feel so royal, Keep them. They're a keeper. They know what they're doing. You know what you're doing. Huh. You got the lovers. It could be a Gemini. This is the Gemini card right here. The lovers. If you're dealing with a Gemini, you know, you got it made. We Geminis, we're known for being really amazing lovers. So, you know, keep it up. All right, Scorpio. Short and to the point, but that's what I got for you. Awesome, awesome, positive read. Keep it up. We'll see you soon, Scorpio.